Don't you always go for the pill bottle when you aren't feeling good because it's easy and it usually works the best without causing problems? I know we all do it. I try to cure any symptoms or cramps that I have with pills because it relieves the problem quickly and I can move on. Sadly, that's not always the case when it comes to life. We all run into problems in life. It is never a smooth ride. We try to ignore it, but it's easier said than done. We all toss our responsibilities to the side and wait till the last minute or do the least just to get it done, but sometimes that is not the best option. High school is filled with tons of projects that we don't feel like doing, but we have to do them to keep our grades up. Most of the time we have to ask ourselves do we want to put it off until the last minute or actually try and be proud of our projects at the end. I remember clear as day junior year English end of the year project. We had to talk about one of the three lenses, Marxist, New Crit, or Feminist Lesson, in our movie that our teacher chose for us. I was sitting there in class annoyed over all the projects we already did in the class and wasn't looking forward to do this one either. I was really debating to just put it off to the side until the day before it's due, but we all know it wouldn't be a good project. So I decided to actually stay on top of everything for this project because it was already the end of the year and it wouldn't hurt. I promised myself that when I presented, I will be presenting confidently and proud about the work and effort I put into it. Sure enough, I was proud. I realized that there will be times when we must choose between the, what is easy and what is right. We might not like giving ourselves a chance, but in the end, the outcome is the best feeling when we do. We all have good habits and bad habits. We might not realize it, but they are there. Some people might misinterpret it, and it happens. We can't control everything that happens in our life. I always had bad time management. I would think I had more time for something, but in reality, I didn't. Not until middle of junior year, I realized I need to write everything down in my planner, no matter if it was making dinner or finishing up my math homework. My family members would remind me that you need to write everything down or college would be hard for you. I didn't believe them at first, but when I started doing it, it made me more relaxed because I was always on top of things. It definitely was a positive turn for me more re and helped me become more successful. If I didn't realize it back then I needed to change my bad habit, I would have missed an important interview that would help me build so many connections that I could count on now and use them for if I ever need to. Writing everything down helped me so much in being more organized and stopping myself from doing assignments or little things last minute. It is a long checklist on the daily that is needed. It definitely taught me that old ways won't open new doors. Overall, change could be a good thing and open new opportunities. So don't let yourself fall back into old ways or you'll be stuck in the past. It can also be a little challenging, but challenge could be good for you and help you grow as a person. Don't be afraid of challenges and changes because it could lead you to new paths that could help you in the future.